Okay, so welcome to this week's uh, Across the Pond. So this, if you, it's the first time you watched us, uh, then this segment essentially is, is we pick out some uh, some some highlights, should I say? What's the best word to use? Probably from uh, stories that uh, occurred from uh, across the pond, so the good old US of A. So all you crazy fools out there across the pond, uh, you, I mean, again, it's just we have to leave out ninety nine percent of of stories, don't we? We could probably make a full episode on one week's worth of news. <laughs> yeah, we could, because you just... Yeah, some of the news stories that come out from over there, my God, they're brilliant. We, re- brilliant. we read some of them, and we have to double-check the credits, because we're thinking, nah, we're no. not having that, that's not real, somebody's no. taking the piss. And we do have to tone it down a bit, because some of the stuff, you can't... Even for us, and we're by no means uh, prudes or anything, and we're quite open-minded about most things, but... Can't um, even spell PC, never mind that. No, too. no. But uh, but no, some of the stuff, my God, yeah, it's uh, it's it's it's, it's uh, eye opening. That's what I'm trying mm. to say, eye opening. But the first story, uh, and this is the, this is the funny thing. The reason I'm chuckling because this is actually a toned down one, which is quite. You'll understand what I mean in a minute. Uh, this is the story of uh, Michael and I think what came in the name now. Michael and what's the other name? Christine. Yeah, mm. I checked prompts there. Michael and Christine Barnett, who a couple from Indiana. Oh. We're related to him off that police chase, is what they remember him. Sheriff John Burnett. That's him. No, it weren't him. No, no, it weren't him. What do we he is now? Sheriff John Burnett. If you're watching this, well, you know, like a lot of people real know who that is as well, but uh, yeah, he was that very. In fact, he was near as orange as Trump, wasn't yeah. he? He weren't far off, was he? Yeah, his teeth was white, weren't they? <laughs> and he used to host. <laughs> He'd be working in a Macadie somewhere in Texas now, wouldn't he? Yeah. If you buy this cheeseburger, you can yeah. get a French fry. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there was a. He used to walk on set with these like mock arrests going on in the background. <laughs> never took his eyes off camera, did he? Never. When he was getting in and out of the car and everything like that, he's just looking at camera all the yeah. time. He's big fucking white teeth. teeth. Yeah, and there's somebody like unrolling police tape in front of him as he was walking past, and he ne- like 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 Dean said, you never. He's like this, looking. That one of painters that follow you around room. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he, he was a uh, he was a character when he's Sheriff John Burnett. I wonder where you are now. We'll have to find out. We'll find out. Yeah, find out where you are. So this couple, um, Christine and Michael Barnett, uh, have been up in court. Uh, I think this week. I think it was in this week when they've been either a hearing or something. Anyway, story goes that they were um, on the face of it doing a good deed. They were looking at adopting the child, and. Uh, in 2010, they were successful. They ad- adopted a, uh, I think she was from the Ukraine, this uh, little girl. And she was, uh, I think she was six years old at the time, allegedly. And everything was fine. And then the behaviour of little Natalia, her name was, uh, sort of spiralled out of control. Um, and this all come out in the in the court hearing. And uh, <laughs> as it transpires, the on the fact, when you start reading the story, you sort of immediately go against the, the parents or the foster, or the adoptive parents, because there's a you know you think oh they've been cruel or whatever, and um, they gave the essentially what they did is they gave her up. But as it transpires, the reason they gave her up was because little Natalia was 22, <laughs> and apparently. Uh, it, this bit isn't funny. I mean, it's funny. It's a funny story, but it's not funny. This bit. The the the, the woman in question. So Natalia, the woman, uh, actually suffered from this form of um, of dwarfism that that meant that at 22 years old she resembled a, a six year old or an eight year old. I think it was. Yes, I think it was six. And uh, yeah, so basically, this this little Natalia uh, persecuted her adoptive parents for years. And she, and as it came out, she was actually twenty, a twenty-two-year-old Russian uh, or Ukrainian. And uh, yeah, she was swearing all sorts. Yeah, horrendous, horrendous story. I mean, funny. I mean, it's funny, but it's not funny at the same time. You know, it's uh, quite controversial and everything else. But yeah, so the little uh, little kid, if you thought we get this lovely bundle of joy from Ukraine, was actually a twenty-two-year-old psychotic Ukrainian. Why am I thinking of dead parrot sketch for Pyth? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, it's true. Yeah. This woman is twenty-two. Yeah. No, she isn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's right. Yeah, yeah. 
it's uh, you can't imagine things like that happening. I remember watching that movie actually. It came to me before. There was that horror movie, weren't there? Is it Orphan? The Orphan. Jennifer Connelly. I can't remember. And uh, was it the Orphan? If it was the Orphan, they basically she had the wall that thing around her neck, all collar. She was like a little girl, and it turned out she was a woman. It, was, it reminded me of that. It was horrible film. Fucking horrible. And um, this social worker looked after her, and anyway, found out that like she took the collar off, and there was like a big scar under her neck. And yeah. she'd, they took her a little perfect little kitty teeth out, and she had these rotten teeth behind it. And it, was hor- oh, it was horrible. But I had this vision of like this little. I've not seen that. Yeah, it's, it's horrible. Yeah, it's horrible. I thought so. But you could write this. You could not write it. Yeah. So it was. Um, yeah, an amazing, amazing story. But you don't think like those things happen in real life, do you? I think it's. You don't think it's going to happen. Ukrainian. Or if. Um... Possible, I suppose. So that's what Chernobyl was, wasn't it? The Ukraine? Yeah. I wonder if that's what it's uh... Don't know. Don't know if it's some sort of hereditary condition or yeah. whatever. And you don't wish any ill on anybody, but it doesn't matter whether you're three foot two or five foot ten. If you're an absolute bitch, you're a bitch, aren't you? And this, this woman apparently was a, weren't, weren't nice. Do you know why you shouldn't buy a wife from some Ukraine? No. Chernobyl fallouts. Yeah, and you say, if you were Steve, you wouldn't want that, then, would you? Well, no, he did break his foot. So. Yeah, he would break his foot. <laughs> He'd drag it behind him, like yeah. fucking Cyril Snare off raccoons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he wouldn't want, to, yeah, he wouldn't want Steve to uh, have the, uh, have the uh, Ukrainian underwear, without a doubt. No, but amazing, yeah, an unbelievable story. You couldn't write it. So, what have you got? We've said, what were we in our episode six? Each episode yeah, six, roughly yeah. between an hour and an hour and a half, so <laughs> it's it's a lot of time, and we've it is a lot of time. we've stayed away from the B word. We've been good. Yeah, yeah we've seen. I'm, t- I'm amazed we've managed. I'm yeah. sick of fucking hearing about it, and I'm sure you lot are as well. So yeah, that's why we stayed away from it, right? and we've stayed away from the uh, God Save the Queen from the Fascist Tangerine, Mr. Trump. <laughs> yeah, but no, can't do it. We've managed six episodes, we've got to do it. Because, finally, they're trying to start impeachment proceedings against him. Yeah, they're after, they're getting, they're after him now. Finally, yeah. got the teeth into it. Uh, and, hey, uh, ties back, you, the um, Ukrainian president, wasn't it? Mm. He was, when world leaders talk to each other, they have um, an actually plethora of people listening into them. Um, so they can't say he said, she said, you know what I mean? Yeah. So they've got like CIA and NSA and... Yeah, they monitor. Yeah, they monitor everything. Um, so apparently, what he's done is he was speaking to this newly elected um, Ukrainian president, who I think was a, a stand-up comedian. He was. I was president. just going to say, I remember that. that was from the news. He was. Yeah, he was a stand-up, stand-up comedian. comedian. Yeah, yeah. That goes like in P T K. Not a bad thing. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Benny Hill, more nice fucking. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've got Benny Hill in now, haven't we? we yeah, we are. P- yeah, we P J. Um, Very apt. So he's talking to this new Ukrainian president. Uh, and he's basically asked him to do him a favour and investigate uh, former vice president and presidential candidate for next year, Joe mm. Biden, mm-hmm. because he, him and his son were on the board of a Ukrainian gas company, mm. um, and Trump's got it in his head that he did something dodgy. So he's asked... Because he's righteous. Yeah, oh yeah, he's fucking squeaky clean. Yeah. So he's asked his Ukrainian president to look into him, um, and he's basically hinted that if you don't do it, you're not getting your four hundred million dollars in military aid, which he did hold back. But he said coincidence. Yeah, he did say coincidence. It was yeah. only a couple of weeks before this phone call as well, apparently. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Um, and to make matters worse or better, better for us, um, they found out that um, the phone call they store them on servers so they can look at them. They've moved this phone call to a uh, a server that they. Secure server. Yeah, yeah, a secure server that they, they only use for like top, yeah. top like covert national security shit like fucking SEAL Team 6 when they went for Bin Laden and stuff like that. I'm talking fucking, if you read yeah. it, you're dead stuff, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Um, so they put it in there so they've ever gone, hang on, why is that in there? Yeah. Um, so this whistleblower who turns out might be a CIA officer, which gives him a lot of credibility, um, has said, yeah, and that's, that's not the only one because apparently they reckon the stuff... Um, on the on this secure server, when he speak, 
spot to Putin. So they've got to have him. They've got to have his pants down. Well, they do get him because the guy's cro- the guy's crooked. Oh fucking hell, mate! He's he's cr- he's he's wrong. He's a wrong gun. Ben's a dog, dog's back leg. Yeah, he really is. He is. He's a wrong gun. No, but it's it's uh, it's about time, really. Having said all that, I don't know what will happen to be honest because they, he might just end up not running in the race. You yeah. know, the twenty twenty race. I don't know. I don't know. But he's the guy. He's a Teflon, isn't it? Nothing sticks to him. Nothing sticks. But maybe this is just a bit too much for him to brush off this yeah. one. When he first got elected, and obviously everybody woke up to the news that he got elected, and the whole world's like, fuck it, now what's yeah. gone on over there? Couldn't believe it. No. Man. Couldn't believe it. Um, he'd only been in office a few weeks, and if you remember, he started bad moving um, his own security services yeah. and intelligence services. Yeah, he went after the FBI as well. He did. It? And I said to my missus at the time, not blowing me on trumpet, I said, that is suicide, that. Mm. You don't turn round and poke the National Security Agency, Central Intelligence Agency, because they'll have you. Yeah. They'll have at one day they'll have something on you or find yeah, something. They will. So yeah, they've had it. And they don't like it. They're not. They're not too keen on. Uh, you have to be. Well, if you're not an ex-military man. Yeah. You have to be extra nice. Yeah. Well, he's a draft dodger, isn't he? Yeah. He's got his doctor yeah. to make up some bullshit thing about his bone spurs or something. Yeah. And the least of his worries. But yeah, he's. Um, I think this time it might just stick, and something like that. He might not even get impeached, bizarrely, in terms of actually removed from office. But it might lead to some sort of prosecution. Yeah. Which um, it might do. But something needs to be done. It's just it's been a nationally. Well, I'm not an American, obviously, but if it was me, I'd be. Na- it's like a national embarrassment. Yeah. It really is. <laughs> so matters work for him to show the ineptitude of his administration. Um, they got the transcripts of the call. Yeah. What is he? He's um, is he a, is he a Republican? Yeah. He's a Republican, isn't he? Yeah. So Republicans have got the transcripts of the call because obviously they're in they're in power. Um, they said, right, these are transcripts of the call. Let's go through it, study it, and like kind of make up. No, he didn't mean that. He meant that. You yeah. Know what I mean? Just twist it on. Yeah. So get that, and we'll send it to everybody. Send it to everybody, and tell them to have a good read of it, and then we'll make up basically some bullshit to defend him. They sent it to the wrong email server and sent it to Democrats first. So the Democrats actually had it before Republicans got <laughs> it. That's brilliant. Yeah. So they're going to have... Clever it. people then behind the scenes. Um, yeah. They're clever. Yeah. Slick. Cloak and dagger. Yeah. Slick. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. Horrendous situation over there. So I hope... Uh, yeah. And it's just it's not good for... It's just not good for the country as a whole. You know, how you looked upon as well. It's just not good, is it? It's like us over here with Johnson as well. I mean, he's he's our Trump, isn't it? Really? Yeah, they're up he each is. other's ass as well, aren't they? Yeah, there's that big controversy with Johnson, isn't it? That uh, American businesswoman, that Curry, mm. I think she's American anyway. She is, mate. Right. Yeah, sort of getting appropriating funds, taxpayers' funds for. Well, let's not let's not be around the bush. She's obviously banging her. Oh, I know. Yeah. Yeah, he's all right with women, though, doesn't he, Bob? He Johnson. does, yeah, but... But they all do, don't they? All in power. He must have a fucking stoke deck, him. Yeah, he, he, that was our prompt to just fall in order, by the way. That's uh, it, Yeah, I'll cut that out. Um, so, yeah, it's not... Um, it's not... It doesn't look good. It's, and and they, they always get... They always have these women chasing after these power hungry. It's like when, yeah. women, it's like when women marry uh, serial killers. And it sounds weird. You're strange creatures, you women. Aren't you? Yeah, careful. <laughs> yeah, careful. Yeah. No, you are. You are strange creatures. I don't know what my is making something for me when she's watching this on her iPad or something. Oh, all right, okay. Yeah. Half a measure of Domestos in your spag ball. Yeah, yeah, there, there, there could be repercussions. So, yeah, I'll gloss over that one. But they're all, if you notice, and you're going to notice... I mean, obviously I'm not American. I don't know what it's like over there. I don't know what it's like to live on the, over there. We can just commentate from afar, can't we? Mm. But you went from one of the most intelligent, in my opinion, articulate, sensitive presidents ever mm. in Obama. Classy guy as wasn't well. He? he was just class, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah. Um, and he was black. Yeah. I mean, you, you, you voted in. I mean, in America... I'll be honest with you, and I don't mind saying it on camera. In my lifetime, I thought the 
that you would have elected a woman far sooner. This is a sad indictment, this, by the way. I don't mean this uh, far sooner than a, a, a black guy. Mm. I did, and that's because, you know, you've got certain divisions over there and certain things. Yeah, I, and that that was another thing that stands me. But yeah, classy guy, classy guy. To go from that, I mean, I don't know what the whole Hillary Clinton thing was, but from I have it on good authority from some American people that I know that, despite all Trump's um, bluster and you know arrogance and yeah overtly knobbishness, um, apparently she's a fucking snake, mm. uh, and they actually got the better deal with her. Mm. The lesser of two evils, as so, so it were. Maybe, but I just think following her. A democratic agenda would have been a better course for him. That's all. Yeah. Because all he's doing, you see, he doesn't really care about the electorate other than his own followers. Mm. He, he realises he's not going to win people over. But what he does do, he makes sure that the people that follow him love him almost mm. to a fanatical level. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, so he knows that if he gets his supporters fanatically following him, he can pretty much do what he wants. It was, it was uh, wherever, they, wherever they were, I can't remember. The other day, he spent 10 minutes in, in climate change speech. Mm. He spent 10 minutes in there and he got up and he buggered off. And then went and held um, a forum for um, religious freedom of speech and stuff like that for the, uh, for the you know, the proper Bible Belt people. Yeah, cranks. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what religion are you? always get them. Religion. That's a special and art. Yeah, it's a whole other ball game that one. Lots of answer for. Not that I'm not that I'm against people of faith at all, but yeah, lots of answer for. Yeah, they're not jobs. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so he thought he, he could only donate ten minutes of his time to battling climate change, but went to a a Bible Belt bash. A Bible Belt bash, yeah. So yeah. funny, you want a tool? What an absolute classic. Yeah. So yeah, maybe it'll. Um, It'll get sorted soon. I hope it does, and I hope they they, uh, they come and get you. I really do. I really do. <laughs> so I think I think is that it. I think we're pretty much some all we can That's take. That's it for across the pond. Yeah, we yeah. We have, we have to end it after that. Memory cards only so big. Yeah, and the, and the Trump thing. There's no way you go after that. Tell you where we go. We're going back to Japan because now it's time for this. <laughs>